I want to give you in my talk um, a compressed 20 minutes overview about industrial applications, what could we do with um, Mathematica. And um, we do Mathematica since now 20 years around, and we did more than 150 projects for industrial applications. And there were a few things that important is that normal users dislike simulation software, they are not experts. They want to have an easy uh, user interface. And um, so typical areas we're working on is automotive, food industry, mechanical engineers, and so on. Um, typical applications is heat transfer and, and these, these things. Um, I want to show a little bit the requirements for industrial uses. Um, the normal things, um, you have a lot of parameters. Um, in the talk before, you see a manipulate, that is very nice, but if you have thousands or hundreds or 10,000 parameters, um, then it's not enough. Um, so this was the base idea to, to, to make a development environment that allows you to build uh, complex uh, user interfaces with hundreds and thousands of parameters and in an object-orientated way. So you can organize this in uh, an easy manner, manner without knowing in deep all these dynamic things because these environments uh, helps you to to make this without any specific knowledge about dynamic and these things because if you have... Um, a lot of parameters and you have um, um, interfaces that changes depending on the um, kind of, of interfaces where you load something inside and you ch your, your interface changes then. Um, it's very complicated to do this with um, normal things. So this was the experience in around 20 years. Um, and so we um, de developed an environment that allows you to build such, such things. Um, I think I shorten a little bit uh, and show you a, 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 a relative complex application so that you can see how this looks like because we have not so much time. Um, but the reason is um, for, for this is um, Mathematica is a very nice platform, but you have a lot of things that can help you, but um, to, to build in industrial uh, relevant applications, you have to be easy, uh, the deployment have to be easy. So if you, you define your model and um, you are ready, you make a deploy and say, okay, send it to Player Pro and everything is okay. So this is um, the, 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 the point. So the basic idea behind our FAP is to create a, stru a structured modular code with um, automatically generating user interfaces. Um, you also need um, different languages, for example, for user interfaces, um, customizing um, palettes and all these things. So. Um, Typically, you, you see these typical examples are always, oh, there's a manipulate and you have a few sliders. That's uh, very nice, but um, if you have a little bit more complex applications, um, you get uh, your typical things. You have objects to load, you have ma material parameters, you have uh, structures, uh, um, um, input. So um, this is... Uh, looks like a typical thing. You have uh, uh, tables, and these tables are parameters, are objects, and, and all these things should be, have to be dynamic. So this is um, the base idea behind this. Um, typical examples are, um, this is uh, extrusion. So you have a lot of, of, of nuzzles, a spray, and this, and you have um, 20,000 to 30,000 parameters. So this could be large. Um, OK. so. I show you one example because so we have uh, 10 minutes and uh, you get a little bit of overview um, how this looks like. Um, this is an example from, from pharmaceutical industry. So this is, um, I hope it's large enough. You see it in the back? Okay. Um, so this is like uh, such a user face looks like. You have um, uh, different um, 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 points to put in. You have here um, a, a box. Uh, this is for transport of pharmaceutical uh, drugs and you want to, to, to ship this box around the world and these box have different parameters. There are cooling bricks inside, these had layers walls, so um, you have um, uh, outside temperature cycle that is uh, measured or um, anything. So here you can uh, look on, on your box and this all these things in in mathematics, it's dynamic, so you see, okay, this is my box, and you can look in my box and can rotate these things. Um, and so, and if you look at these walls, for example, so these walls are always objects, 
because uh, this wall is layered and you want to change such a wall. So if you look at, at this wall object here, you say, okay, I can edit. So I can uh, include in this, in this table uh, additional layers with different material parameters and all these things are generated automatically. Um, and so I, I closed this one. And you can uh, save and load this because if you um, define a library of, of components, um, then you want to, to, to save it and uh, reuse it later. Um, so if you have um, the structure of your, of your problem and you want to, 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 to load anything else, so it should be in a very automatic way. So every object brings its own user interface. So if I go, for example, um, in, this, in this object, I see, okay, um, there is my, my user interface of this, of this wall. See, so you have a sketch of this wall and you can uh, change these things. Okay, so you have to define a box with different layers. Every layer, every wall could be different because um, the colleague shows the batteries, 80, 88 pet batteries, but if every battery is completely different, it could be complicated to organize this because you get a large number of um, parameters. Um, so it, it, if you look at this uh, box, uh, so you say, okay, in this box, there are different things, there are bricks, it's uh, um, cooling, Bricks, you know from, so if you look at this, this, this box, you see in this box there are different um, um, bricks, there is a product in this box, so I close this, and you can here make an exploded scale, it's better to, to see what is happening in this box. So these are cooling bricks, uh, PCM material, also melting of, 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 of a coolant, then you have here uh, the, 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 the product, and here you have um, the, the, um, the walls, okay? Here you can change um, all these, these cooling bricks. It's um, like Excel table. Um, then you can define the, the, the orientation in this, of these bricks in this box with the coordinates for, for orientated. Then you can define um, the initial conditions for these uh, bricks. Then uh, you also need a temperature pro outside profile. So you can define here a, a profile. It looks like an Excel table. So you can define here my, my, my outside temperature, the, um, the temperature at each side of this box. And you see, okay, this is the, the, the outside circle of this, of this box. Um, you also can define um, solar, radiation, solar radiation on this box, what is happening. And so, and um, here you get a, a little more information about the simulation details. Um, the base idea is you have um, a finite volume model in this. So every component brings its own grid and you, you, you merge this grid, but you have not, nothing to, to see as user because this is an application for people that building um, boxes. And so you get um, here um, um, a sketch of, of, your, of your system you see um, uh, what is uh, the, the, the number of elements, all these things you want to, to see. Here you get um, a, a summary of your box. You see, okay, what are the physical uh, properties of this box, the, 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 the masses of these uh, things, because if you ship a box, then the thermal problem is one kind, but um, for the transport, it's important to know how large is this, so uh, how, how, how is it wide. Okay, so now we can make a, a simulation. And here, for the simulation, you need um, um, uh, you have a user interface where you can locate uh, different measurement points because in your in your real box you have sensors and anything located. So here you can um, include a list of, of your sensors, and you see here, okay, these are my sensors. So um, I, I do a simulation, takes a, a few seconds. So and you see here for every component for the first uh, look, um, the min max temperature of this component. Um, and, and you see, okay, what is with my product? Okay, here's my, my, my temperature of the product out of range. And if I look at the state of charge of these PCM materials, if say uh, discharge, and I can look at every these, of these components. So I can see, okay, ah, this, this is uh, so it's empty here, the cooling. But uh, this is for the first look. But if you want to me have more details, you can say, okay, I look more in detail in this, uh, in this box and take a few seconds, then you have a, a, a 3D, um, so okay, I hope it's, uh, you can see it. So you can here look um, in, in your box and say, okay, what is happening in my box, and to, to look at the temperatures, 
and see, okay, um, what are the temperatures of these components? And uh, these 3D pictures are always nice, but you can't um, see anything. So it's, it's helpful to say, okay, I put a locator on this uh, specific point and say, okay, um, these are my, my locators, okay. I take four of them and make a plot of, 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 of these temperature cycles at this position. It takes a few seconds, so. Okay, so here we are. Oops, so, sorry. Um, here you see the, the temperature cycle on these, on these points, and you have uh, interactive graphic with sliders, and you can um, look on your curve and, and say, okay, uh, if I more want to have a, a, a zoom, you can uh, also zoom inside your, 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 oh, this was too, 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 too much, so um, I can reduce. So this is the, the base idea that you have a, a real um, complex environment, uh, w but for, for the user it should be easy. So here you can also then make an export to Excel for this data because a lot of people want to have their data later in Excel and say, okay, I want to compare it with my measurements. So this is a, a typical application of, um, of a complex um, GUI environment because uh, this is um, normal yeah, industrial applications. We have, you have thousands and 10,000 parameters. This, this model has around, I don't know, 1,000, 2,000 parameters. Depends how many bricks you include. We have people that have um, 300 bricks in this box. And every brick is different, and every brick has its own parameter, so you get a large organizing. And so if you do this with a manipulate, um, you, have, uh, you have not the possibility. To, you have dynamics in dynamics, and um, here in the background there are a lot of things, because if you change something, um, you, you have to look which parameters are influenced by this. Because if you change something, and everything changes automatically, if, if, you, if it's always dynamic, then it takes too long. So we have to look inside, okay, this parameter affects only this one because then um, it's um, too slow. So if you include here um, a new sensor point, for example, um, a new, new sensor point here, you see here um, the, the plot of these sensor points. So I, I make not a, a redo of my simulation because I include only a new sensor point and the rest of simul my simulation is not affected by this one. So this is um, uh, the, uh, the complications in a practical application. And so this is um, the main reason um, why we developed uh, such um, uh, environment to build up um, industrial applications because this is uh, the experience um, of around 150 projects we did. Um, and we um, include a lot of this um, experience in our environment so that you can build up these things without any um, dynamic things, dynamic modules and all these things because um, if you build up this with dynamic, you take a few years, I think so. And, so, and for building such things, um, it takes weeks or months or days depending on the level of what are you are doing. For simple things, our. So this is the base idea. Okay. So if you have questions, I'm happy to.